Having cut short his trip to Africa, David Cameron makes his way out of number 10 to the Commons to give his much-anticipated speech on the phone hacking scandal. After talking about who would sit on the public inquiry looking into the ethics of journalism, he addressed the issue on everyone's mind. His appointment of Andy Coulson and whether he knew about phone hacking when he was the editor of the now defunct News of the World. I have an old-fashioned view about innocent until proven guilty. But if it turns out I've been lied to, that would be a moment for a profound apology. And in that event, I can tell you I will not fall short. The Labour leader Ed Miliband wanted more. He wanted an apology there and then. He says that in hindsight he made a mistake by hiring Mr Coulson. He says that if Mr Coulson lied to him, he would apologise. Mr Speaker, that isn't good enough. The Prime Minister has been criticised for his close relationship with Rebecca Brooks, who stayed at his retreat checkers a number of times. Some have accused Mr Cameron of having inappropriate conversations with her on the B Sky B takeover bid. In response, well, he reminded the House he's never invited the former News of the World editor to number 10. The previous government, he said, had done so six times a year. I have set out all of the contacts and meetings that I've had in complete contrast to the party opposite. And I can say, I can say this to the honourable gentleman, I've never held a slumber party or seen her in her pyjamas. Despite the quip, the issue and the many others mentioned in the session won't be put to bed for some time.